WebWatch development, finding information's pulse, and I'm handing the mic to Natalie. My poster describes a project that I completed for the Montreal Child, Youth, and Family Health Network. Um, basically, I was tasked with developing in a research tool that would automatically update and disseminate information on a particular topic, in this case, childhood obesity. Um, I drew on the expertise of Professor Catherine Huteke, who'd already developed uh, a procedure for web watch development. Um, it's a five-phase cycle. So in the first phase, I, I planned the web watch. I consulted with experts in childhood obesity um, to kind of figure out the scope of my project and what types of sources to collect. After that, in the second phase, which was research, um, I collected those sources. And because I wanted my tool to update automatically, I found RSS feeds that were associated with those sources as well. Um, in the third phase, which was analyzing and treating information, I took those sources and I plugged them into a free online tool called Yahoo Pipes, um, which allowed me to combine them into different categories and then to filter those sources so that they were only retrieving information related to my topic of childhood obesity. And then after that, I disseminated the sources using another free online tool called NetVibes, um, which serves as an RSS feed reader um, and would allow the people um, at the network to access those sources and access the results of those feeds online.